Lesson 25 homework. Number one, estimate the quotients. Three and 53 hundredths divided by 51. So here we're just gonna be trying to think about our math facts and trying to turn these numbers into something that we can divide by easily. So for example, in A, I see 35 and five, and I can do 35 divided by five. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a whole number. I'm gonna make it 350 divided by 50. Now in order to make that 350, I had to multiply by 100 and round. So when I do 350 divided by 50, I get seven, but then I need to take that seven and divide it back by 100, and seven divided by 100 is seven hundredths. So my estimate is actually seven hundredths. 24 and 2 tenths divided by 42. So again, thinking about my math facts, I see 24 and 4, and I can do 24 divided by 4, but I need to make these, um, I'm going to round two, 24 and 2 tenths and make it into a whole number and make it, so I'd round it to 24, but then make it 240. So I multiplied by 10, divided by 42, I'll round to 40. 240 divided by 40 is equal to 6, but I multiplied by 10, so 6 divided by 10 is equal to 6 tenths. 9 and 13 hundredths divided by 23. So again, looking for my math facts. Um, let's see, I have a 9 and a 2. I can't do 9 divided by 2, but I could do either 8 divided by 2 or 10 divided by 2. So I'm just going to make this 8 and then multiply it by 100 so that I can get rid of the 13 hundredths. So 800 divided by 20 is equal to 40. And then I would multiplied by 100, so I need to divide by 100. And I get 4 tenths. D, 79 and 2 tenths divided by 39. So 79, that is really close to 80. And 39 is close to 40. So we really have, I'm just going to leave it as 80 divided by 40. And 80 divided by 40 is 2. And since I didn't multiply anything, I can just leave it as 2. 7 and 19 hundredths divided by 58. So again, thinking about my math facts, this is close to 72, 71, 72. I'll make it 720, so I multiplied by 100 to get rid of the 19 hundredths, so it's a whole number. And then thinking of something that's close to 58 that I could divide by 72, or 720. Um, let's see, 6, I can do 72 divided by 6, so let's make it 60. 72 divided by 6 is 12, so 720 divided by 60 is also 12. But then I need to divide it by 100, because I multiplied by 100, and we'll get 12 hundredths. Number 2, estimate the quotient in A, use your estimated quotient to estimate B and C. 9 and 13 hundredths divided by 42. Okay, so 9 and 13 hundredths. Um, there's really nothing I can do 9 divided by 4 by, but I could do 10 divided by 5. So let's make this 1,000. So I multiplied by 100 to get the 13 hundredths out of there divided by, I'll change 42 into 50, and 1,000 divided by 50 is equal to 20, but then I need to divide by 100, because I multiplied by 100, and I'll get 2 tenths. And then here, it's 913 divided by 42, so 9 and 13 hundredths what we did to get 913 is multiplied by 100. So I'm just going to take my quotient of 2 tenths and multiply it by 100 since they're both dividing by 42. We'll get 20, so our estimate for that would be 20. And then here, 
we have 9, 91, and 3 tenths. So to get from 9 and 13 hundredths to 91 and 3 tenths, we just multiplied by 10. So we can do 2 tenths times 10 equals 2. Number three. Mrs. Hewn bought a bag of three dozen toy animals as party favors for her son's birthday party. The bag of toy animals costs $28.97. Estimate the price of each toy animal. Well, three dozen, so there's 12 in a dozen, so three times 12. So she bought 36 toy animals and it costs $28.97. So what I see, this is really close to $30. And we can either round up to 30, 36, round it up to 40, or we could round it down. It's going to be easier to round down, so I'm just going to do 30 divided by 30 animals. And so each one is about a dollar. Or if we did it 30 divided by 40, we would get about... 30, well that's equal to 30 fortieths, which is equal to 3 fourths, and as a decimal, that's 75 hundredths, which would be the same, 75 hundredths of a dollar would be 75 cents. So it's somewhere in between a dollar and 75 cents. Either estimate would work. Again, we're estimating here, so there can be more than one answer. Carter drank 15 and 75 hundredths gallons of water in four weeks. He drank the same amount of water each day. Estimate how many gallons he drank in one day. So 15 and 75 hundredths in four weeks, but here we're asking about one day. So four weeks times seven days a week would be 28 days. And so we're gonna need to do, what we would do is 15 and 75 hundredths divided by 28, but we're estimating. So let's see, 15, we can do 15 divided by 30. So 15 divided by 30, that's 15 thirtieths or one half, which is also equal to five tenths. So he drank half a gallon each day, about. How many gallons did he drink in one week? Well, if he's drinking half a gallon each day in one week, that's seven days. So if you do 0.5 or 5 tenths times seven, we'll get three and 5 tenths gallons. And then how many days altogether would it take him to drink 20 gallons? We would just need to see how many, so if he's drinking 5 tenths gallon each day, then how many days would it take until you get to 20 gallons? So 0.5, how many 0.5s or halves would it take to get to 20 gallons? Well, that would be 40. So it would take 40 days.